Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So about two or three months ago, I made a video about the Warglaves of Azanoth because I got both the main hand and the off hand on my Demon Hunter, which is the first part of being able to transmog them. And the second part of being able to transmog them is running the Burning Crusade, Time Walking, Black Temple Raid, and Killing Illidan. And back then, two or three months ago when I made the video, the Burning Crusade Time Walking was supposed to be starting on August 27th, and because of the War Within expansion, they ended up moving it. And I've had a few people commenting, being like, oh my god, where's the time walking? Like, what's going on? Because personally, I'm kind of nervous to do the time walking. I think other people are too. I have a lot of new players on my channel that raiding can just be a little bit scary and not knowing how time walking works. So I wanted to come in with a little update video kind of preparation, get you guys on the right track so you're not nervous and you know exactly what to do when the time walking comes out. So basically, let's jump into it. I am currently on on my demon hunter who has I literally just equipped the war glaze of Azanoth because you can't transmog them yet so I'm content with just wearing them for the vibes of having it for now first thing I want to show you guys if we go into the calendar in game and in September on the 17th that is when the time walking begins so it's going to be going from the 17th to the 24th and I actually made a post on the Facebook group I think world of warcraft junkies and because I'm really nervous I'm scared and I want to know exactly how it's happening especially because I was planning to make this kind of like update video so I wanted to make sure that I know how this is all gonna work and I have to say this made me feel so much better about how it all is gonna work because I wasn't sure if it was gonna be LFR or a custom group but basically the information that I gathered is that when it's live you're just gonna go into the pre-made groups and then go into I would assume custom I don't think it would be legacy raids, so I'm like 99% sure that in the customs group you'll just go in to find a group, and I'm sure that this will just be loaded with a ton of Burning Crusade, Black Temple, Time Walking, and you'll just want to join one. There was also people saying that some groups would have like skips to Illidan, like where they've already cleared all the other bosses and you can just go in and kill Illidan. That's how you're going to do it, and everyone on my Facebook post was saying it's like so easy, like it's not a big deal. It is kind of where you're in a full raid group of people and the bosses are, you know, like kind of challenging-ish to take down, but it sounds like it's extremely casual and no one's going to be mad at you. I don't really think you need to know the fights or anything. Just follow the group. It should be totally fine. And then the other really big piece of advice is to queue for it right away. So when it comes out on the 17th of September, quite a few people on my Facebook post were saying to get in right away because obviously that's when there's going to be the most groups doing it. And as the time goes by, it'll probably be harder to get into one. So I recommend doing it on the Tuesday, if not the Wednesday, if you can, just to make sure that it's super easy to get into a group. And then also, in case there's anyone watching this who's super new and didn't even know about the Warglaves of Azanoth, and you're probably looking at these thinking these are dope as hell, where do you get those? How do you get those? I'm going to be showing you how to run the raid that they come from. Basically, it is a raid from the Burning Crusade expansion called Black Temple and the last boss, Illidan Stormrage, who is like my biggest crush in World of Warcraft ever. He has a chance to drop the Warglaves of Azanoth and you need to get both the main hand and the off hand and they're a pretty low drop rate. Like I think it's like two or three percent. I got really lucky and I got it like two weeks back to back a few months ago when I went to do it, but I had been farming it back in the day. So I've probably in total had like 30 or 40 attempts on it, but then I don't know why it had been a few years and I was like, I'm going to try for them again. And I got it back to back. I was like, what? So that's the first part of the achievement. You need the main hand and the off hand. And then if you equip them, you'll actually get the achievement called Warglaves of Azanoth. So you need this achievement that's for the first part. And then the second part, for some reason, this achievement doesn't come up in the achievement finder on WoW when you search it, but it's called I'll hold these for you until you get out. And it's from defeating Illidan during Black Temple time walking after completing that Warglaves of Azanoth achievement. And then you'll be able to actually unlock transmogging them. I think that that's everything in terms of how the time walking will go. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them below. I'll try to help you. I have never 
never done it before either, so I'm kind of new to it, but I say let's just figure it out. Let's be brave, even though I know a lot of us are really shy and really scared, but it'll all be okay. Um, so with all of that out of the way, I'm now going to show you guys how to run Black Temple just in general. I thought that this would be a good video to just kind of combine that into. So we are in the Orgrimmar portal room, and instead of going to the main area, we'll be taking the stairs down here. We're going to be taking the portal to Shatrath, which is to Outland from the Burning Crusade. So just this one right here, I'll throw in some footage of how to get there for the Alliance. And real quick, if we check out the map and right click a few times, currently we are in Azeroth. We're going all the way to Outland. It's going to take us to Shatrath in Terrakar Forest. And the raid itself is in Shadow Moon Valley right over here. From here, we're just going to go ahead and get onto our flying mount and just manually fly over here. I'm just going to put a map pin so that I can easily follow it. And I will just meet you guys over there. So we are arriving at the Black Temple, almost there. There is a little kind of entrance on the side here. Right down over here, there's a little crack in the wall, and that is where you will enter the raid. Um, this one is literally just one difficulty, just normal. I mean, there's also the time walking, but that doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter what you have this set to because it'll just default to what it is. Illidan! All right, so like I said, this time I'm just going to be doing the full normal clear. I did also show how to do the skip in my other videos, so if you want to check that one out, feel free to do so. But this will be a full clear just in case anyone wants all of the transmog from here. Uh, it's a pretty big raid too, so it's pretty easy. Just follow the path. There's really only one way to go. We're currently in the sewers, which is... Uh, kind of a vibe. <laughs> I guess a little gross, but it's very aesthetic down here in a certain kind of way. Um, and then there is a boss over here to our right. Um, I don't know if you necessarily have to kill him in terms of like if it's required or not, but uh, if you're here for transmog anyways, may as well. Now just coming up here through this little tunnel. Um, demon hunters are definitely very nice to run stuff on because they're very fast. Um, I usually like to try to use all of my speed boosts that I have. Okay, and then we're just going to be coming up this kind of uh, Illidari training grounds, approaching our second boss here as well. Um, if I weren't in combat, we could probably mount up too. All right, taking down our first boss. Give him the loot. I actually cleared out my bags today. They were completely full earlier, but we're not doing too bad now. All right, now we're actually kind of entering the Black Temple. Uh, you can again go to the left or right. I think I'm gonna go right today. Why not? I usually go left, so why not switch it up? And then actually, just real quick, if you were doing the Demon Hunter skip, you would be going over there to that chain, just so that you know that that's the way that you would go, but we'll be going right some of this random stuff. Um, we're heading over to this shade of a comma boss. All right, here, let's get these guys. This random trail of guys that I have. All right, there we go. Now we're out of combat. So you're just going to go ahead, when you kind of get close enough, you'll see this kind of invisible Akama guy, and you're just going to say that I'm with you and it will activate the fight. And we're just going to be going up here and killing these uh, summoner guys. Should be able to attack them here soon. There we go. As soon as he starts kind of like channeling on them. I don't really play my demon hunter, so I have no idea what I'm doing. She was only like level 52, I think, when I got the Warglaves. And then I leveled her up a bit during the Radiant Echoes. Not quite to 70, but kind of getting there. But my demon hunter is very much an alt, so don't judge me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but now he's channeling the shade of a comma, and as soon as he gets close enough, we will be able to attack him and kill him. Then we can head out of this room, and now we're going to be heading up over this way. I definitely feel like this raid is very slow. It takes forever, so when I found out about that skip over there on the chain, that was like a life changer for me. That was pretty much the reason why I started far farming the Warglaves again. I was like, oh my god, that's going to be so much easier, and I'm so glad I got them so quickly. 
just coming through these hallways here. Kind of use your speed boost as much as you can, and we're just trailing guys, because why not? All right, now we're coming up to uh, Terran Gorefiend, our next boss. Let's give him an eye beam. There we go. Okay. There's definitely some really, really cool transmog stuff in here. Let me see. Look, look at this. Oh god, it's fun. The stuns are annoying though sometimes. That's the one thing with trailing guys, they'll like stun you. So we're just heading back out now, I think. Oh, I was gonna say we're out of combat. No, still more. <laughs> All right, so just heading back from where we came from. I think that that's why this raid feels like so long. Like I feel like most raids are very like you just keep going forward, but this one's very backtracky all the time. Okay, so uh, just heading back down to the main room that we were at. There's actually also some vendors over here in case your bags are ever getting full or if you need to repair over here. Um, there is a repair vendor, so let's just kind of go up here real quick. Um, we have to go over to this doorway anyways. This is actually kind of like a shortcut-ish, um, but we're just going to pop up here to the repair guy just so you guys know where that's at. And yeah, you could just kind of sell some stuff if you want to. I'm not too worried about it though. Uh, just continuing with our little run here. So currently, um, so there is a door down over there, but it's currently locked right now. So we have to go down this way. It's so, uh, it's so crazy with this demon hunter skip, you literally don't have to do any of this stuff, so. That's why definitely if you're farming the Warglaze of Azanoth, def definitely do it on a Demon Hunter. Okay, so we are going to be going over to this uh, Reliquary of Souls over here first. I don't know if it matters what order. You could maybe do this boss first and then this one, but I've always come over to this guy first. All right, so this boss, it's kind of annoying because there's kind of like three phases to it-ish. And it's funny because this boss used to scare me. It has like three different faces and the angry face when I was really young, it scared me so much. So now every time I run this, I'm just reminded of my childhood fears. <laughs> All right, so we'll just go ahead, kill him, he'll go back. I hate raids where like the fights are really slow like this. It's like, can we just like, I can obviously one shot everything. Can we just go quicker? Like what's with all the RP? Very annoying. I wish the blizzard would give us a way to skip that shit. Um, so just kind of run around and kill all these guys that are spawning in and then he will come out again. Oh God, is it the angry? Nope, okay, not yet. It's the last one. I couldn't remember. That one, she's actually kind of hot, okay? All right, and then this final time, uh, we'll be able to actually kill the boss. I don't know why this monkey always spawns. I don't know if it's like a trinket or what, but there's always this weird monkey spawning. Oh shit, here he comes. This was the guy I was terrified of when I was younger. I was like, oh fuck. Okay, what do we get? Bone weave girdle. Nice. Okay, now just running back, we're gonna go all the way over to these stairs on the very far end. All right, I love when there's like a big long like jump thing like this with the demon hunter glide. Yeah, we're just kind of coming around. It's so annoying that you have to go down. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> Popping stuff up. You have to go like so far just to get down to this guy. All right, but I mean, hey, we're making some progress. Take this boss down. And then we're going to actually be entering the really fun part of Black Temple. But we've already gotten down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bosses. I think it doesn't matter what order you do those two, but yeah. All right, now this part, okay, I always do this. When you come up from these stairs, I always go to go that way, but the doorway is right here. It's this thing right here. <laughs> I'm always going the wrong way. I guess maybe if you did the bosses and like do this one first and then this one. You can't really fuck it up, but every time I come out of there, I go to the right. I don't know why. All right, so now heading over to that door that I said was locked, but now it is open. 
we go. Now we're basically going into like Illidan's pleasure room and I'm so mad. The Den of Mortal Delights. This used to be my favorite place ever because everyone would be dancing around like naked, like in their underwear. But then Blizzard put like clothes on everyone because I guess it was like too sexual or too offensive or something. But this used to be my favorite place to come. It's good. I actually did a Twitch stream a few months ago and we all came and ran Black Temple, and that's when I got my Black Bow of the Betrayer. But we were all hanging out in the Den of Mortal Delights, having like basically a giant orgy, and it was, <laughs> it was a vibe, okay? I think that that was even when they were no longer wearing the bikinis and stuff. So it was kind of lame, but it was still a vibe. All right, so anyways, you just kind of, I don't know. Sometimes I feel bad if I'm not fully showing you where I'm going, but it's pretty much just one path. Um, I'm just running back to show you again that this is the chain that like you would come up on. So you'd be down there and you jump up on that chain and then glide over to this room. So pretty much that goes to show how much stuff you would skip and you would just be right here, you know, like right away from the beginning. So it's pretty cool. All right. Uh, it's very beautiful here though. Like I wish that I had these castle garden vibes but just a couple more bosses two more bosses to go and then we'll actually be on illidan there we go all right we're getting there guys i am excited i mean i don't really know why i'm excited because i have nothing to get from here but it's just cool we're almost there Right, again, I definitely, um, if you're a new player, definitely just open your map a lot. Like, I use my map all the time. I think it's just like a wow thing. Just constantly pressing M to kind of check where you're navigating, but can't really get lost. All right, now we're coming up to, like, Illidan's, like, council guys. Take out these four. And then at this point, um, definitely you're going to want to make sure you talk to a comma before you go up the ramp. Otherwise, you'll have to come all the way back down. So let's just kind of get rid of all of uh, a lot of angry, supposed to be naked blood elves coming here. Okay, as soon as you can talk to him, you're going to go ahead and say that you're ready. Then he'll start coming up here. Got a lot of guys. They'll just keep coming. It's fine. Then you can just follow a comma up here. There's also a ramp on the other side, but either one is fine. All right, <laughs> just killing some blood elves. But then basically he's gonna open the door um, once his little broken friends come to help him. To it's a very cool door. Could you imagine if this was your front door? That would be dope. Oh my God, these orcs must have been following me for a long ass time, holy shit. Okay, and then behind this door is Illidan, so we're super, super close. We're gonna have to talk to Akama again, so, I mean, you can run ahead, but I forget if he goes up the left or the right, but then you'll have to find him to talk to him, so we'll just follow him so that we'll be right there with him. But I'm really excited to do this on time walking, even though I'm scared. Um, go ahead and say that you're ready, but I'll definitely do like another video when I actually run it to just kind of show you guys how it went and everything. And I'll try to get that posted like ASAP because I'm obviously going to run it on the 17th. So yeah, it'll be fun doing this with a group of people for sure. It's so aesthetic up here. I love it. Oh, <laughs> hello. Okay. Oh, there's my monkey again. Oh god, the iconic line. All right, then you can just do your thing. There's some stuff that he does. Goes up in the air and throws down his war glaives. <laughs> These guys are just random guys that are following me. Okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and kill the flames of Azanoth real quick. Absolutely freaking dope. There we go. Then you're pretty much done. And then there's just a bunch of RP. Maev is going to show up. P.S. The Illidan book is so good if you haven't read it before. It's like everything leading up to this moment. The months and years kind of leading up to this. Oh god, it's so good. I just read it maybe like two months ago. 
Oh my god, I'm all stretching. I can't attack. <laughs> Stretch break. I swear to god, if these drop for me again, I'm gonna be mad because I don't need them. I would like to give it to you guys. Go down, bro. <laughs> it's so slow. All right, and then we can loot them. What did we get? Okay, thank God didn't get the war waves. I would feel really bad if that happened. But yeah, that is everything. That is how you run Black Temple. Um, again, I'll put a link to my other video in case you want to see how to do the Demon Hunter skip. Or you can just YouTube it, Demon Hunter Black Temple skip. You might be able to find a better, faster video than mine. If you do watch mine, just like skim through it until I'm at the part where I'm jumping up the chain so you know how. So that is everything I've got for you guys. If you have any questions about the Burning Crusade time walking, any concerns or nervousness, feel free to comment below or join my Discord. I would love to morally support you on that and everything. To be honest, I would offer to like have people run it with me, but I just want to get in ASAP. There'd be no way to really time that out well, you know, because I'm just going to jump into the first group that I can get into when I can. So I'm going to go now and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!